What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be playing High Rise City, a upcoming city automation logistical based game where we kind of put like our lumber mills down, our fish markets, our food markets, our towns, power, all that kind of good stuff as you kind of expect in a city builder, but it's very much automation based as well via supply uh, and demand. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a brand new game and because it is the demo build, as you can see up in the top left-hand corner, we only have one available city, which is New York. Um, so we can kind of see here of the stuff we can kind of get in. Water, wood, clay, iron ore, copper, coal, quartz, gold, gems, and lithium. And this all here is... Uh, we need to collect and uh, all this stuff so we can advance our city. So, for example, if we wanted to start going to more high-rise buildings, we start need to bring in more of the rare resources uh, via our logistical lines. So, we're going to start a brand new city, and we're going to name it, of course, Melantopia. And I'll be the mayor, so bits. So, as we can see, we have uh, got a, a difficulty setting as well. We are going to keep it on easy. Uh, just to make it a bit more understanding uh, because it is the demo version when it comes to the full release which is on March March 24th um, we will um, look more into this and maybe change the difficulties to have a bit of a challenge so what we're going to do is we are going to start the new game Thank you for playing high well I appreciate it so we can kind of see it's got a very very clean UI all that kind of stuff uh, so I'm just going to run through a couple of things with you here. Um, so up here, we have kind of our, our finances and kind of see everything. Obviously, we don't have anything in here yet because we don't have any uh, residents. We don't have any industrial zones, all that kind of stuff. And here we can kind of see um, our uh, income for our graphs regarding wood. If we're going up, if we're coming down, depending on our deban demand, uh, because we can import stuff when needed. We can export stuff if you are making a surplus of items all that kind of stuff. And we can kind of see our resources here as well. So we currently have 80 tons of logs and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and this will eventually go down until we actually um, bring in some stuff as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the bottom here and we can kind of see uh, our buildables. Uh, it's very, very simple. Obviously, this is subjected to change. Uh, and we can see we've got a road. So we want to put these down. Uh, and you can see our speed limits as well. And if we look over on the left hand side here now, we can see that we can put straight roads, free roads, we can change them to bent, we can improve if we want to upgrade roads, and we can change the angle and landscape and grid snapping. What we're going to do is we're just going to put down a little bit of a residential area. Uh, we, as you can tell, there is no highways coming in and out, just kind of like skylines, um, but we are in a very much grid based. Um, as of now, I've not got to the point where we can actually research to other areas i don't know if they're just in the gameplay uh, the game testing is we have this uh, but we'll see um but yeah so let's put down our rod and it's going to be a 50 uh, miles per hour rod or i don't know if it's in kilometers in this i don't know and because we are in new york city as well i have put it to dollars all right and i'll probably change it around depending on where we are so i'm just going to put a rod down here um just kind of put a small grid uh let's kind of have we got grid snapping on we do uh just kind of keep that there and let's just kind of build like a little just a simple square down here for now now that we've done that we want to look at putting down some residential and also some water and power so the way the mechanics work with the water uh, and the power is if i put this over here it will power this we don't need to put any power lines from here to here it's very very simple i can just connect this up, up here and we can kind of see here on the left hand side that we have uh, the noise pollution. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of put this on the edge of the water over here. And that did cost us 5,000, which we do start with like half a million. Uh, but the water does, however, have a similar feature to skylines. Uh, so if we put down a water, this tiny little water thing, uh, and if you, you can see, we can kind of zoom in pretty, pretty, pretty far as well. Um, so we can kind of see more detail in our city. So we're going to put this little water tower here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some water pipes very like down like this and i'm just gonna have this um just kind of like you would do and trying to keep as much of the area covered as possible we don't need to worry about it now we've done that we're going to look at putting some residential down and i'm just going to put it down onto this side for now i'm just going to paint this area oh i'm actually out of resources oh okay all right let me maybe i've already messed up <laughs> I've actually just used all the logs. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Wait. 
do you wait, where's the where's our logs where's our logs here logs uh we do need to build a rod are you going to require me to put logs down for this um because i forgot about that you need to put down um whatever you build is going to take up like you can see look at the massive amount of logs we've just lost here look boom straight down so what we need to do is now we need to look at bringing some in. So how the logs work, we can kind of see here um, that it's 87%. This is 100% and that means the amount of trees in the area for our um, logs per minute. So I'm going to bring up this road a little bit further so we can hit that 100%. I'm just going to bring that up to there. And let's get our logs back in here. Uh, hello. So now we've got a nice 100% there. Uh, what also we, we need now is we need to go to the roads and we need to get the carriers. Because this is what's going to distribute our logs from here to our town here and also into our storage. So I'm probably going to place this around this location right here. But if we click on this, we can kind of see this radius. And as of right now, our logging camp is just in the radius, right? Um, but what we can increase this. So if we do this, we can see that now this radius is getting bigger, which means our trucks from this location are going to um, access any... Um, buildings or factories or industrial industrial areas that's in this radius so it will affect this building and it will collect the resources from here so let's just kind of do that and then let's just go into this building real quick and we can see there's a little blue bar right here and once this gets to 100 percent it's going to put one log in there i think now we have one log and what's going to happen then is after so long when it that when that reaches a certain um amount you're going to see one vehicle out of here you can see that we have six trucks in here sleep right now uh, we can rename them we can unlock them we can change the color of them uh all that kind of stuff yeah that's then going to come across across here grab the log and bring it down back down uh, and this has only one in right now well two technically so we're just going to wait for that and then that means our up, uh, our supplies up here are actually going to build up we do need to start looking into commercial but we can't put any of this down because we need logs and because we kind of just kicked ourselves in the foot right now because we just built all of these i could if i wanted to possibly demolish these and i one thing i've not checked is if oh i do get some logs back i'm not going to get many but i think i'm just going to trim this back a little bit um so i'm so sorry people we are kind of demolishing i just want to kind of put a bit of uh, commercial down here um that's literally it so depending on our supply and demand is depending on how fast we can build so like the more logs we bring in the more how residential i can bring in the more commercial i can build all that kind of stuff uh next thing we want to look at is doing some food so we do need to get like a fishery and if we hit the m or n key we can kind of rotate and the cool thing about this as well is if i was to place this down here and then place it. You can see it kind of snaps to here, right? But if you press M or N at the side of it, you can you can see the, the top corner here is actually creating a pivot point. So you can kind of... Which is pretty cool. And we've just got an upgrade. Nice. So we've just got a fruit farm, a clay pit, a brickyard, zone garbage, and a local garbage collector. Which is pretty cool. Because we've reached, well, 300 craftsmen. Because of our login and all that kind of stuff. So, we only need one fishery for now, but if we go to the roads, we can kind of see that this now creates two snapping points, so we can kind of bring this down here. And I want to connect this up, obviously, to our main road we have going. So, I'm just going to bring that down there and bring that up to there, just like that. But we want to make sure our courier can actually reach this, and it can. Uh, so, that means our courier is actually going to come down here, grab the fish, and take it back and store in our warehouses. Have, obviously, the option to do bricks, but we're not going to do that just yet. Because we want to start looking at food now. Uh, which we want to start looking at vegetables. So how the resources and the f this works. This is classed as the farming kind of industrial area. So as you can see, when I select this, it doesn't pop up a building. But it brings up this little small orange uh, arrow here. And what's going to happen is if I was to, say for example, build this. A little road here, like this. And then build it along here to about this. We're going to segregate this area off. And what you're going to notice is this ground here in a minute... In a minute, whatever's in this surrounding road is actually going to change to farmland. So now, if I was to put a farm just uh, here, uh, wait, build. You want to build? Oh, I need wood. Damn, I need wood. I need wood. Hurry up, give me wood. 
Okay, so I've just sped up the game a little bit, and you can see now I've got 17 wood. I just kind of, because you can speed the game up here, uh, so I'll just put it to very fast. Left it for about 30 seconds, and uh, we can actually build this. So, as I was saying, you can actually put this down here, just like this, and build that into there. And then I can put this down. And as you can see now, that farm has now changed this into all farmland. So this is going to create loads of fruit uh, and vegetables for us in here. Okay, also, we need to add some water. So I'm going to kind of keep the waters underneath the road, uh, preferably. I don't mind about the cost or anything, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to kind of keep them under the road, uh, kind of like you would do uh, in IRL. Uh, but now that should have water. And uh, yeah, there we go. So now we can see that one, uh, one truck is in use and has gone to collect some items. I'm going to guess it's this one here. Uh, it's probably going to get some logs. So if we just speed up a little bit here, uh, and once this l comes back and goes in here, we should see this go back down. Hey! We're already leveling up. We've got taxis, credit, trading, um, coal-fired power station, gas power plant, medium wind turbine, small sun power plant, small church, small police department, small fire building, a bank, a four-lane road, and a six-lane road. So we can kind of see we are advancing, and you can see all the other stuff we can get as well. So we can go into a small village, and we can get some textile factories, zone employees, zone offices, uh, and uh, furniture factories. Obviously, these are going to need more complex. So very much like with most automation games, you kind of need to go from the basic raw materials, from grabbing lumber, to then going into planks, and then the planks going into the craftsmanship and all that kind of stuff, making into into furniture. Uh, depending on how this game takes it, uh, and then obviously combining them buildings with more complex buildings like textiles and combining your wood and your farming stuff into a certain building as well. Um, so it has got a bit of complexity to do it when you advance on, and obviously the sense of growth. I don't know what is going over, going on over here with my with my houses, um, but first of all, let's just kind of expand our houses here so it kind of looks a bit a bit more tidy because. This right now is driving my OCD crazy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to check how my people are actually... Um, how they're doing. They are about 54%, 53, and it is going down, it seems. Um, maybe we can put down a healthcare sensor. Um, so let's have a look into our um, buildings here. Um, I'm guessing these uh, items are a work in progress. And if I was to build one of these, I do need six logs... Um, it's going to cost me 2,000. It's going to remove three um, tools. And it's also going to uh, remove six logs. And for me to place this right now, I, I need an additional one log. So hopefully a truck can get there soon. We've just got a notification as well saying shortage of jobs builds. So we need to build some new offices. Um, so, But I need these logs to go up first, which we do have a, a delivery coming in right now. Once that's done, it's actually waiting there. So obviously traffic's picking up now a little bit. Uh, I don't believe there is any form of traffic management or how we can uh, divert the roads or how the how it all works. And we are running out of power, it seems, as well. So we do need to put down another uh, power. Let's just go with a small one just for now. We do have a large one, but that's going to require coal. Um, and we don't have any coal nodes yet. I don't know how we can actually utilize that uh, or how it works. Uh, hopefully this now fixes our power issue. Um, so let's have a look here. Can we just click onto this? See, so you're creating 14. This still needs power over here. Do we need to put more down? Oh, there we go. It's fixed. Sorted. Um, nice. So we can see that residential here uh, or indicates the need for new re residences. So we don't need that because it's obviously on the downside, but indicates the need for new jobs. So we can see that orange is rocket, oh, rocketing up there and that we need to put down some new offices. So let's kind of do that. And let's just kind of put a couple more down here. Uh, obviously, we can only put so much down due to our supply of lumber. Um, so what I might do is I might put a separate road going off here and get a new lumber factory coming in so we can start making some more progress with that. Okay, so what I've done, I've just extended this road along here, and we do have this one. I still think that's 100%. No road within reach. If I put there, you're 83. Um, I don't want to put this one here, and it's going to affect this one. Maybe we just do it for science, and see if that will happen. Um, just so we know for the future. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? Not until we find out. So let's put you down. 98%, 94%. 100 right at the tippity top so there we go now we've got another log i'm actually going to destroy this road here we don't need this anymore uh i don't know if the if the roads actually 
Yeah, maintenance. Okay, so the, the rods do cost us um, cost over time. We can see it's costing us seventy dollars for this strip of rod here, which is highlighted red uh, with the traffic lines. As you can see, that's going this way and this way. So now that we've got that, we've got more logs incoming, which is going to help. Um, which I do kind of want to put down. Obviously, more commercial, uh, which we've only got four. So I'm just kind of going to put a couple more in here. It's not really much, but eventually these will turn big um we do want to put a hospital down like we was going to do a minute ago as well uh, so let's just get six logs in there and let's kind of speed up the game a little bit and there it is there's one here right let's get this down um let's just put this down this is probably gonna get crazy i'm not in any form of way trying to create a an efficient city i just want to get the basics down and just see how the mechanics and everything works within the game itself uh, so we can kind of, so you guys can have an understanding as well. We can see a lot of people here. And it does seem that everything gets cut off at the end of the road. Uh, and traffic is going a little bit nuts here as well. Um, so there is going to be a traffic element to the game. And I want to figure out why they're stopping here. And we've just got small village. Pretty cool. I, I think this is the last section we can actually get in the demo. Because there's no arrow up here. So we do have a courthouse, elementary school, and all that kind of stuff. But now we've got a um, hospital down. If we get check one of these, we can see now that the medical services and the uh, healthcare is now 100%. But the church um, and the fire and the police are, are still low. So if you think of... You remember um, Anno? Uh, in Anno, um, for them buildings to upgrade, they require like a, a, a pub a brewery all that kind of stuff then they also need claws they also need food coming in i'm going to presume that this game works off them kind of same mechanics um so for this build these residents to actually uh grow they might need these buildings all that kind of stuff um but we can change the taxes so let's have a look at that uh, if we go over here um where was it oh we don't have a town hall um let me down a town hall here real quick i'm just going to place this here so now, once that gets built, we should be able to see our finances. Uh, and let's just slow down the game a little bit. Uh, so let's go into our finances now. There we go. We can kind of see that we're making 6,196. Uh, 6, because up here, we are making 3,515, which does show down here. Um, so we are in the, 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 the positive in regarding money, but we are on easy as well. Um, we can unlock credits, build a bank, and obviously we can look at laws as well. Uh, and trading... We can build a port to allow trade with other cities uh, and all that kind of stuff. But we can see here we can change the taxes of the craftsmen and employees office stage and the office stage too. Um, and our uh, expenditures are pretty low down. Open the left click description and we can... Wow. Okay, we can break this down into into what's causing us some uh, expenditures here. So if we look at this one, we can kind of see our most of our money is coming from our fish, um, from our residents, which is pretty cool. Uh, employees, um, we don't have anything in there. We can't open this up because we only have office stages. So now we can, we still need some um, some commercial buildings. Uh, and you, as you can see here, this is requiring bricks, and we don't have bricks yet because we need clay. Um, so we are still going to stay on the the basic level. And I'm just going to going to use all of this area help now because we do have like quite a bit of logs. Um, but now our demand is hopefully met by this. Uh, and uh, it, this is going to get a little bit crazy because just the amount of traffic that is going to be on this one line here. If I was playing Skylines right now, this would not be happening. This would not be happening. Oh, uh, we can kind of see we this is actually being used a lot. So these little boys here are indicating as well the travel distance. And it's kind of like a load bar. So for example, this is going from up here to over here. So this bar will expand. You can kind of see it like that. Um... 3.2 drive from small lumberjack yard to carrier. Uh, this one's sleeping right now. 50% vehicle list color change. We can rename these as well uh, if we wanted to. One thing I've just noted as well, they have a little camera mode up here. So I can go into photo mode and I can change the time of day just for, just for some thumbnails. So I'm probably going to utilize this for this thumbnail and we'll see how it looks. I do have a time limit. The demo ends in 9 minutes 20. So... We, we don't have long. We're, we're being time pressured into what we can do. Wait, what? You can explore this city in Melodopolia with a vehicle by pressing the F key. Uh, a vehicle will then appear on the mouse. Okay. <laughs> Move! Out the Move out the way! 
Oh, God. That's no good. Move out the way! Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> so let's have a look at anything else we can quickly do. We do have some, like, landscape tools. So we can kind of... In Terraform, when you can change the landscape, you wish with limits of physics are, uh, are suspended here. Not that Terraform costs money. Okay. So we can kind of play around with some things. Uh, change. It does seem super smooth. We can change the brush strength. Add. We can change it to uh, linear if we wanted to. Uh, it brings everything up. Uh, kind of cool. So there is a lot of things we can kind of do with it. So yeah, that. so that's the thing. I've least got five seconds. Four, three... Two. What's going to happen? End of demo. GG. Well, it was fun, guys. So if you want to watch any of my other content, click either of these videos here. And uh, as always, keep smiling.